Hello, in this video, we will be discussing how you can use the media library tool in your Canvas course to record yourself and your desktop as a video for uh, student viewing. To locate the media library, go to your left-hand navigation in your Canvas course and click on media library. By default, media library is active in your Canvas course. Once the page loads, uh, you'll want to go to cre the create button. Click on the Create button and select Record a New Session. You'll be prompted to download Panopto if you have not already. Panopto is the application you, you will use to record your screen and video. Select the appropriate operating system. In this case, I'm on a Mac. I will select the Mac installer. It will download to your Downloads folder. Navigate to your downloads folder and open the installation package. Follow the on-screen uh, on instructions. Once the application is installed, you can launch Panopto. This is that first button right here at the top, launch Panopto. So typically what happens in this process is uh, you'll, you'll see a, a two windows, um, a video window and a display window. Uh, in this case, um, we've got my laptop camera and um, the my laptop screen. Under the video dropdown, uh, you can see audio as well, and it has selected the built-in microphone on my laptop. If you have other microphone and, and video devices connected to your computer, it will display those as well within the dropdown, and you can select them. Such examples like a Logitech camera, or other devices uh, are usually named in that dropdown. We can also see that um, my audio is working because I have feedback on this audio bar. So it is displaying as I, dis as I talk currently. And that just means that it is receiving audio and it will be recorded. You'll notice at the top, the folder. The folder is my Canvas course. That's the name of my Canvas course, and this is where we launched uh, the recorder from. You can change the session title. It will stamp it with the date and time. You can change it to whatever you like. In this case, it'll be test recording. Once you're ready to go, click on the record button. Before you, and then before you do, uh, you can prepare your materials. Uh, if you have PowerPoints, have them at the ready, uh, or web pages or any other content that you are wanting to display on, 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 your, on your screen. Um, the display capture is essentially uh, your uh, analogous to your in-class presentation, things that you would um, project onto the, uh, the screen in the classroom. We hit record. It'll start recording. I will minimize this tool into my, my, either my dock or my taskbar if you're on Windows. And then I can just go to my materials um, and, and review my content. It is now recording and it, it will uh, display everything uh, that you do on the desktop and concurrently with the video capture itself. Once you're done, with the recording. Go back to the tool that we minimized, the, the recorder, and you'll want to hit stop. And it'll, it'll reconfirm that, that the name of the test recording, um, or the name of the recording itself, um, say um, we want to do a, just a quick change to the name, we can call it test recording two, or whatever you prefer. Um, or you can just stay with the name that you originally uh, titled. Hit the upload button and it will upload the video. Um, in this case, it will take um, uh, only a short while because it was a short video. Um, if it was um, of any um, length, uh, say an hour, uh, it will take some time depending on your internet connection. 
Once it's uploaded, you can see it's uploaded and now it's processing. You can close this if you're done with your recording. And we can go back to uh, our Canvas course. Navigate to the media library once again. And you'll see that we now have um, uh, our test recording here. It's currently processing. It's giving us a thumbnail. Um, but once that processing is complete, uh, it, will, uh, it will be playable. And here it is, it's playable now. Again, this was a very quick process for both the upload and the processing, because uh, it was such a short video. Um, uh, so expect, um, um, expect it to take um, upwards of five to 10 minutes for say an hour long video. This video is now in the media library section of your course, and it is viewable by students. Students that navigate to the media library will see a, the same page and they'll be able to view the recording. They only have viewing per permissions. You, you will be able to uh, do things like delete the video, edit the video. You can go to your set to the settings for this video, scroll down and also make the video unavailable until, until a, a starting time and date if you prefer. More information on how to do this is in our help guides. So now that the video is complete, let's take a look at what it looks like um, uh, for students. Students will see, I'm just gonna pause uh, our video here. Students will see a vi your video that you've decided to uh, use. Uh, in this case, it was a camera on my laptop and the desktop display. Uh, you'll note that these are two separate videos. Uh, students will be able to swap these videos uh, side by side. Um, and um, they'll be able to navigate uh, to different points in the, in the video itself. They can play at different speeds and adjust the quality uh, uh, to their preference. Uh, if you have been using PowerPoint, uh, what happens within this player is the each slide will be represented in the lower bar here uh, and students can click on each slide and be brought to that point in your video. That's, that's it for how to uh, record uh, and publish uh, video content via the media library tool in your Canvas course. Thank you.